Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning Spartans. Today we're going to be operating on a day three schedule. Auditions for Honors Choir will take place next week, March 13th through 17th, during lunch in the choir room. Signups to audition are on the choir room door. Please see Mrs. Lopez with any questions. And now we take a look at some helpful apps that can help you with your foreign language. Hi everybody, it's Herr Bendorf. Senior Hartman and I wanted to share a few language apps with you to help you practice your language outside the classroom. First up is Flash Academy. There are beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels available as full courses for German, French, Spanish, and Italian. This app also works with your phone's camera to scan and identify objects in the target language. There are several interactive games as well as audio and video clips from native speakers. Next up is Duolingo. There are about 18 languages available on this app. Duolingo will send you reminders to complete your minutes for the day based on the level of involvement you select. There are over 100 skills and vocabulary sets available to practice. If you're unsure of what level you should be working at, there is a quick placement test that will give you an idea. The last app is called Memrise. There are over 12 languages available with different comprehension and recall activities, including activities with native speaker audio. Some activities have you spell different words or responses. Flash Academy, Duolingo, and Memrise are available for Apple or Android phones. Hi, everybody. Senior Hartman here. I'm going to talk about three useful language apps that you could use in and outside of your classrooms. The first one is the DLE app. DLE stands for the Diccionario de la Lengua Española, which is maintained by the Real Academia Española, an official government-sponsored organization. The DLE app is a dictionary, likened to Merriam-Webster or the Oxford in English. Simply type in a Spanish word to find its definition in Spanish, various uses, and colloquial phrases that contain that word. Babbel is another app, but isn't a dictionary or a translator. It's a second language acquisition app. You can explore lessons by theme, by level of experience, type of exercise, and some cultural elements as well. Lessons are available within each series, and once completed, you could review them, offered in a variety of languages. The WordRef app is probably my most used even to this day. This app stems from the webpage wordreference.com and is a reliable translator that shows you the various parts of speech of a searched word, various uses of that word, conjugations of verbs in all tenses, and a whole lot more. The forums are useful for searched word phrases or terms that are not easily translated. It's available in 17 languages and helped me enormously in college. All of these apps, the DLE, Babbel, and WordRef apps, are available for Android and iOS devices as well. Danke. Gracias. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And now, a look at the weather. Hey, guys, hopefully we have a delay or we're not school at all because today's weather is going to be 32 degrees and 46 inches of snow. Back to you guys. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.